What's poppin' this Enzo McFly, Enzo? It's comedian Jeff Shelley. OTG underscore Breezy. It's Kel in the building. Why yo, Benji? It's your boy, Mikey Iso. It's your boy, ESG, right? What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Ingrid, here. Hey, man, you already know who it is. DJ McDaniels, live in the fit. And you like the S22. GMT Radio. Realist. It's Catch 22 Radio on GMTRadio.com. Crazy leg. Oh. Let me see. What? Hey. Archibald. Oh. Hey, what? Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I've been drinking today. I'm on the drug or something. It's something. It's something. We gotta figure it out. I done left the dirty stuff and came to the clean now. What? <laughs> I want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I'm too sad, but I want it. I just came to the clean now. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Hey, stick. laughs> Exactly. Do what she said. I'm gonna put it upside down. Bro, <laughs> I, I'm still over here trying to make it, bro. I'm like, bro, trying to, how you get a whole tattoo upside down? Get the upside down. You're telling you go in the bathroom, we're gonna show you. Oh my god. You ain't gonna watch it. She said go in the bathroom. I'm gonna just take Tay and we're gonna take pictures. All right, so uh, we got a special guest in the building. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't throw you off your game. Here we go. Listen, listen, listen. I go by the name of Tate. We got Drewski. We got Brian. We got China Red with an upside down tattoo. Mm-hmm. We oh, got Ray, yeah. my lab partner. What's okay. What lab mean? Local. Local? Losing. Local losing? Ass. It's two L's in lab? B. Oh, okay. I you feel you. bad about that weed contest? Yeah, yeah, I'm very mad, bro. You are a black man in America. That man took his shirt off. I, I, I can't stress that to y'all enough. I wasn't going to win that contest. You was distracted, was distracted by his, 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 by his, by his, his body. Off. I told y'all what happened, bro. I put all three of them wings in my mouth and I didn't chew and I, got, I almost died. I'm not explaining that to y'all no more. I almost died with too much meat in my mouth. That ain't never happened before, right? That ain't never happened before. <laughs> Why you didn't take your 600 pound ass up? <laughs> because I'm not a stereotype. <laughs> Wait, in contest. They, like, they came straight to the two fat and weird. It was like, we're having a weekend. I said, that's y'all want to sign up? I'm going to go get me. <laughs> At the time, it didn't seem like a bad idea until they got to read all the names off. B Hunk was coming, Savage was coming. I probably shouldn't have got up there, but I didn't think I was going to lose like little that. Booty. Little, you little lost booty. the booty. I lost to Cedric. You I'm saying that man lost the booty. Just Look, just we got a doctor in the building, man. Focus. Focus. Okay, we got a doctor in the building. He needs to save us. Because uh, I'm having some breathing problems over here. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> 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 hey, that's Dr. McDaniels What's in the building. You've been sitting over there listening to this madness. We sorry. Uh, on behalf of Catch 22. We should have told him to come at 3.30. We should have told him to come at 3.30. You have to sit through all that. Well, what's popping with you, man? Oh, man, I've been chilling. I've just been sitting here kicking with y'all, listening to y'all. Y'all been fooling. <laughs> We like to have fun. We like to have fun. So for the people that don't know, tell them what you do out here. Uh, I do a little bit of everything. I did the dab here. I, uh, I DJ just just about everywhere. I do tours. I do concerts. I do clubs. I do more this for this. I do oh, weddings. You did the more this No, I'm lying. You did the more this for this? I ain't got the phone. I ain't got the phone. All he got to do is put his hair in no, the actually, and he can get a bar. Actually, I heard Anthrax say that when I first started DJing. So I <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you already knew Anthrax? Yeah, I've been on Anthrax. Man, that's a little girl right there. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So, hey, you've been DJing for a while. Right. I feel like you are the youngest, hottest DJ in the city. That's correct. Oh, thank you. So can you tell them where you DJing at now? Like, any clubs you got going on that you are the premier DJ? Uh, every Saturday, I'm in Indian Hall. No opening. No opening. Okay. Every Friday I'm in Mercy. Okay. No opening. And it's like, I believe once a month there's a big event inspired. If it's not just me, it'll be me and Rogers. But that that's just what you said. So you can have all the rich people. No. <clears throat> what did you get that for? He said no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, don't, it don't be little people in there. Nah. Not all the time. I mean, no, I need some big uh-huh. people. I be uh-huh. needing my space. Not that you talk about, like, famous stuff. Well, everywhere you name, I know good life folks there. True. They promote it. Good life. 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 Good
Good fellas. Good fellas. Good fellas. Good fellas. Oh, I apologize. I think it's good. Well, we all oh, make mistakes. I'm not for No, no, no. Good life is a, is a, is a emotional, but that's not yeah. him, though. That's I mean, not good him, fellas. though. I apologize. Good fellas. Yes, yeah. Good fellas. So how do you end up getting linked with those spots, man? Because there's a lot of inspiring DJs out here. You're one of the first DJs that we have had to actually sit down and talk to. How did you get linked to end up doing some of the hottest spots in the city? Um, well, people gonna be mad when I say this, but when I first started DJing, after I got out the college scene, I got a little like, people snowboarding, looking at the man, I just started messing with me. And I started, I, I don't wanna say I was undercutting, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, right. the game ain't fair. So I just, I, I so just took some L's. No, I didn't take, no, no, no. no I didn't take no L's. Cause see, I had a day job at the time. So I wasn't taking no L's by doing stuff for free. But what I would say was, it was the same message, copy and paste. Oh, um, hello, my name is DJ McDaniels, and I'm a DJ out here, and I would be your first night for free. And then I'll back door and do another night for free just to show that it wasn't a look. Then we can talk about prices, but I'm just trying to get my foot into it. That's a good way to get in. There's so many people out here that just want to get the money first, but instead of want to show what they got, man. So I like that. I like yeah, that. You gotta show what you got. Yeah. So you just started. You and everybody DM sending that same message to everybody. Yeah, everybody DM. So bro, it didn't matter. If, if you look like you from up, if I seen a flyer on your page, it could have been about weed. I probably, I probably slid in them DMs about. Bro, I do the same thing. We can relate. Real talk. I send the same message to everybody. Nah, see. <laughs> So of all the things you could have did, why DJ? Why DJ? Because I, you know, this is Plan B. Really? Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. No, hell no, I can't drum one for you to me. No. You want to be a teacher? No. Flight attendant. No. Do I look like a flight attendant? You want to be a manager at Full Lock? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Oh, I get it. A male stripper. Oh, hell no. I tried it. I wanted to be in the NFL. And it's like looking at me and saying, boy, you. Well, yeah. I'm like, bar. I was good too. Now you can Google it. What position you play? Everything. I'm not. That's what he said. I wasn't playing on the line, though. Oh, boy, linebacker. This stuff can fit my size. Yeah, wide receiver. Cornerback. Corner. Yeah, corner. <laughs> Running back. Punt return. Wildcat. <laughs> wild what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wild good, too. You know what I mean? You got to make sure you hydrate. Yeah, man. I went up to college. I went up to Iowa for college. On a scholarship. Next to my knee. And in high school, um, I don't know if y'all know who DJ Little Bill is. Mm-hmm. When I was cool. in high school, he was teaching me how to DJ, and Anthrax was too. And so now, no, when I came, no, I was in high school. <laughs> oh, okay. I used to throw, I used to throw parties in high school too. So I would throw parties, and shoot, they were leaving their equipment in my room. I'm still a kid. Right. I see right. buttons, lights. <laughs> now you know what I want to touch that shit. I right. stereotyped you when you walked in. I thought you was like a famous skateboarder. Uh, uh, your outfit. I feel like, I don't, you trying to go there? <laughs> <laughs> hey bro, sometimes when she talk, bro, you gotta hear what she said, hear it, just, and keep no, moving. Just keep doing what you're doing. They make good money. I get yeah, yeah, You look like a fantastic skateboarder. I'm not asking. Fantastic skateboarder. Yeah, it's fun. How does that work? What was that? It was like fantastic too, but it was it was more syllables. All right, so we done had Don Tolliver up here, and I know that's your brother. How'd you end up meeting Don? Man, crazy thing, man. A mutual friend walked in my house. I just didn't take it I top on I seen heat, bullets. They're not safe, like, he know what it is. Till this day, he know. When I see him, he know what it is. But vice versa. Like, if he, if he catch me slipping, he's on my ass. He's on the back of my neck. So he came in one day, and I let him have it. But he wasn't saying nothing back today. So in the back of my mind, I'm like, maybe maybe somebody died or something. He died. You know? And then in a real nigga was the man, fuck that, bro. The, uh, Mash the gas. So I start, so I start sending more heat. Put on, man. I start sending more boat. heat. I start sending more heat. And he just wouldn't say nothing. And then he just started playing music. So eventually I just shut up and stopped entertaining somebody. And like, shut up. So I just shut up. And he played this song. And I'm like, bro, who, who is that? He was like, Don. He said, Don Tolliver. And I'm like, 
play another. Play another. Let me get another. Play another. I'm like, okay, that's me too. So we started talking to him. Yeah, they played third song, and I'm like, all right, where he from? And like, he's from Houston. I say, no, no, no. Like, stuff like this. Oh, no, come yeah, from Houston. Yeah. Like, this, like, that's shade. Nah, this don't. Mm-hmm. Nah, it's not shade, it's just it's different. Nah. Yeah. Oh, no, it can be shade if that's what anybody wanted to be. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I mean, it's different, though. It's, 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 it's different. different. It was so different. And he, I asked him what side of town like he was from, and he said, hey, he said, we don't want That's the world too small. So I'm, right. I'm in yeah. Haiti as of right now. And <clears throat> I messaged him, and he messaged me back, and he pulled up on me the next day. That we hear the whole tape, and he ain't even, that's not even the tape to put out. I mean, the stuff that he let me hear, that's probably never gonna be put out. Maybe. That's the fire. So after that, I heard the, the music, and I was just like, bro, I gotta call my manager. I, like, I got to, like, I don't know what the hell my manager's gonna do, but I gotta call him. Like, right. Somebody has to snatch you up before. Like, it's too late. So I thought my manager, Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Oh. Kobe's Kobe, my manager. And I was like, I'm going to be honest. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all the whole story. Come on with it. I say, I say, man, I have to look at him through somebody's eyes. It's not this. It's a hater. Because I ain't no hater. I'm going to get credit where it's due no matter who it is. So I, 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 I took myself on my body and I looked at him from somebody else's perspective. And I was like, okay. Only thing that's that it is about you, you an ugly nigga. You an ugly nigga. Like, it's gonna be hard to push you because you an ugly nigga. You feel me? So I told Kobe, I say, man, what? Like, what 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 is the, the magnitude of the image? What, like, what, how much does that play in your success with music? He said, like, I was like, fuck. <laughs> what am I gonna Damn, do? Like, that, that's not what I wanted you to say. I, I wanted you to say, like, it ain't really that that much because I was gonna bang him, send him with the audio file. And I was just like, damn, okay, well, well, what if it's pure raw talent? He was like, man, it can be raw, but if don't nobody wanna look at you, don't nobody wanna look at you. I was really? like, shit. Okay, well, I'm just gonna send it to you and then you call me and tell me what you think. Send it to him, call me back, and he was like, bro, I'm gonna talk to him. <laughs> and then we got shit and now we here. And that's how it all happened. That's amazing. That's crazy, because that was the first thing I did too when I met Don. I seen him. Uh, plus, they told me, he was like, man, he got a hot track. I was like, yeah, whatever. And I walked out. And I was outside smoking, and I got to came over the speakers. And I threw whatever I was smoking down and ran back in there and said, what the hell is that? <laughs> he said, it's my dog right behind me. And I said, bro, I need you to come to the radio station ASAP. Yeah. I, I know you didn't want to tell him, but did you? When he looking at him like, nigga, this you? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I, know. I know. I think that's what y'all did too. I, 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 I was because just looking at, and it was crazy. He can sound like that. Like, of course, all artists use a little bit of auto tune. Right. But, like, that's really his voice. Yeah. Like, he, he canceled out the auto tune when he sings because he don't need it. But, like, yeah. That's crazy. We better make an epic. Uh, what was it? Zone Dollars. Meet and Greet. Yeah. yeah, he was like, my name is Don Tolliver. He showed us the song. I said it's gonna go viral because it was, it was, it had a dance to it. Like right. boys was trying to do a dance. So I was like, it's gonna go viral. It's a dope song. Right. But I, I really didn't pay no attention. I was like, yeah, you know. And then Brian was like, oh yeah, like I heard this artist. I was like, oh yeah, like we have been talking to him, but he really wasn't no. Like I didn't see him like catapulting the way he did. Like right. he dropped, I got it. Then he dropped Diva. Then it was like, nope. I'm gone. Like, it took off. I got my mic. Now I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> so with this Travis Scott thing, I know you got to deal with Travis, the Cactus Jack thing. Are you included in that too? Uh, I'm not sure. a family. Like that. It's, it's, yeah. It's like, what's your family? What's your family? It's not like you got a kid. Really. So as far as the DJ, like, is there any DJs that you look up to as far as like skill wise? There is just white people. Don't DJ Adam C. Adam C. But I feel like, and I hope nobody takes this. I feel like this is a black dude, but this is a white shit because he be like, bro, like. Like scratch him out. He just like his song choice, the way he just put stuff together. Like, bro, he cold, like cold cold. And of course, I look. Of course, I'm looking for Rock because that's what I was told to look into. Because I'm looking for WWE and things to get started. But other than that, nah, ain't nobody saying, um, nah. 
So, so how did you end up living with Rogers? Uh, through Hey Life, through Rich Fella. Um, shoot, Jacob Stevens. Jacob Stevens was asking me constantly, like, Here, here. I, I, I could never have time to get there. And then last summer, I think our first event was in Clay. And, and like, when Rogers walked in there, he kind of think he was going to know who I was. And shit the same thing. I've been on it. We just like, we vibe, like off grip, vibe. And we like, oh, we smashed it. And we, sm we smashed it. And I think it was a great one. Um, I see you get a lot of excitement from DJing and doing what you do best. How is your love life? Is it exciting as well? Do you have anybody, kids or anything? I don't have no kids. I have a girlfriend. She's ready. She's just, this is my lady. Uh, since high school. Since my senior high school. That's real. Oh, that's all the shit. She's been, she's been so ladies, she's not available. I'm done. I'm going to see no question. No way. That's all I have next to question. You know, this is the first time that it wasn't a China A. Look, I'm single, you're single. No! no. <laughs> no. She was actually asking for a friend from, this time. From the look right. of her face, he's taken. <laughs> I just had to ask for my audience. No, like I said, you asking for a friend this yeah. time. Yeah, this time. I got my distance right here. <laughs> oh my God. Well, um... <laughs> Oh, uh, I just want you to know um, I'm part of a group. You're a DJ. A talent scout. Uh, He's a talent scout. And a DJ. You found Don Oh, yeah. Well, we got talent. I'm just saying, you, you don't, don't downplay it. Shoot your shot. Give me a chance. My bad. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay. I have a group. Um, RB, We do it all. We're not, we're not in a box. I'm you know, sure. we kind of, we there, you know. Um, <laughs> the name of the group is Stick and Nasty. Okay. Say it one more time. Thick and nasty. Okay. Um, we are thick and nasty. Y'all too. Yeah. <laughs> we are thick and nasty. Uh, who who and thick, hold on, who thick and who nasty? We both. We both. <laughs> Don't separate us. Do not separate us. Okay. That's just that's that's my law. That's law. Um, but anyway. We do it all again. Now, the thing is, we can go with your artists. We can get on stage. I'm talking because you don't feel good, okay? He don't feel good. Usually, he does the explanations, right? So here's what we do, okay? We are background everything. I'm not going to limit it because you do a lot. <laughs> we are background rappers. We are background singers. And we background DJs. So y'all going to add a little? No. 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 Let me explain what a background. Now, I just said background. I'm DJ. I can't. I can't add them on DJ. So I'ma just. I'ma. You know. Um, background DJing. While you DJ, we gon' DJ. Can I say the part where I go together like poetry? I don't yeah. Know. Say it. All right. So look. Instead of you know go, going against the grain as to what you're doing, yeah. while you doing their thing, your thing, they do their thing, but it go together. But it go together. Like blow with you. Like oh. y'all own music. They playing their own. Own music. You need to go together. So what you need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be playing this song and y'all gonna be playing a totally different song. Exactly. exactly. That's, that's DJ. You figured it out. It's possible. That's that DJ. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's possible. <laughs> it's you know, it's possible, possible, but okay. It's it, it's it's right here. <laughs> if I was playing uh -huh. Back That Ass Up uh -huh. by Juvenile uh -huh. and you could not play a bounce song, uh -huh. what song would you play to me? Party in the USA. No. What you say? No. You I heard on that ass about BQ. Uh -oh. I don't know. I would have said no. He said no whole twerk song. I'm sorry. No, I said no whole no, song. No, I don't care about that. Listen. <laughs> you gotta be different. I'm not trying to be like everybody else well, in okay. McDaniel. Okay. 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 You are gonna do this. It's rules and laws to this. I understand. <laughs> you are a DJ. You make it work. If I gotta change tempo, slide sliders, whatever I gotta do, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna chop and screw it, whatever I gotta do, but it's gonna work. Party in the USA is always gonna work.
Hey, look, that is the closest we have gotten to any kind of sample music from Thick and Nasty. That is. We have that never you heard any sample music. I, did. I, I think I rapped. I think he did a whole rap. Oh, you did? The dog got trying to I think he did an entire rap. I think you did too. You did a dog got trying to do it. So, what's our strong point in it? Look yeah. at him. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the strongest he oh. is. We got it every time. Y'all are so good. Y'all don't let nobody look. <laughs> nobody. First of all. First of all. Look at him. Look at him. Greatness. First of all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 McDonald, you took what I was saying the wrong way. I wasn't saying, like, look at him. They look strong. Yeah. Their strong points are in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right know what it is. We fight like kids. <laughs> so, it doesn't work. Thank you. To me, or I guess. <laughs>Like, if you seen him, right? Uh huh. And then you heard him, you think, like, that would have changed how you approached it? Because the music is still there, the it's still organic, it's still great. You're right, but I don't know. I don't know how it would have went because, like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't, I don't really tend, like, gravitate towards people who be walking up to me when they have chains and stuff. Right. I automatically is so good, nigga. Don't run, you can be rapping on some shit. I don't really give a damn. So I don't even, you know. How about say, cause I, 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 I make, make it all the deep. time. Like T-Pain had a whole career. You right. an ugly nigga? That's an ugly nigga. Yeah. But I heard well, him on the radio before I seen the video on yeah. BT. Yeah. No, I seen him on 106 Park before I, before I heard his name. But just imagine. Like, by your strips. Like, imagine walking in your grandma's house. Mm-hmm. And she ain't on BET, but the TV's on mute. You gonna be like, look at him and you gonna be like, let me change this shit. See, but I feel so look, that's why I say it's a different talent. Like in the 70s, all the niggas were ugly. Al Green, Ryan Osley, all they was ugly. <laughs> they was just talented though. Like you couldn't deny their talent. Like how many women was like, ooh, Luke the Fire. No, it was just like, he's talented. I think that's what we start to lose while, while, while music gets so watered down because we started to mix talent with looks. And everybody ain't gonna look the part, but if I'm talented, I'm talented. You're right. But unfortunately, we got social media, so looks. They were reported by the. Like the instance. Oh, Blackie. Oh, Daniel Caesar. Oh, Daniel. He don't. But I do feel like he's gonna hit a. He's gonna hit a ceiling. He's not gonna. It's not. It's only so high he's gonna be able to go. Nah, bro. The music there too cold. No, no. Musically, he's not gonna reach like a like Chris Brown's level because he's not appealing to the eye. Like you said, like it's a cat. It's a ceiling. You think he like for ugly people? It is a ceiling. He can get there, bro. Mm-hmm. I think he can get to it's a silly. I've been jamming, I've been jamming Danny Caesar for since 2014. It's a silly. Trust me. It's only so far they're gonna let an ugly, a ugly singer go. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Trey Songz went further because women, like he appealed to women. He ain't, he's nowhere near as talented as Danny Caesar. Like we would have heard Bow Wow. He was young, he was he had it was all the young girls. What is the right what is she talking about? What are you talking about? It was no sexual attraction. Well I mean at the time she was ten too. I was a baby, remember? Oh, baby. Yeah, Why yeah. would you even think like that? Well, he, at 10 yeah, years old. 10 years old. I Get the strap. I'm real different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real different. Uh, you don't have to find yourself. Thank you. It's okay. All right, so McDaniels, you being a DJ, <laughs> 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 what makes you different from all the rest of these other DJs? Like, I'm a rock star. Like, Party like a rock. Like, Party like, oh, nothing I'm a, Nah, like, no, just like that. Oh, I'm a complete rock star. Okay. Like, I, don't, I don't play by the book. Like if, yeah, I see was up in the crowd. Yeah, I'll be tripping. I'll be tripping. I'll be tripping. I ain't DJing with you in the crowd, though. No, that's y'all like that. That's, that's the beauty of it. That's the question. See, people not interested unless they got the question. But now it's like, once you just got done jumping and stuff, and you finally look, you be like, hold on. How this nigga finna change the music? That's the beauty. Because now you blink, and now you disappear. I'll be doing stuff, I'll be tripping. I'll be He's tripping. I'll be, I'm a rock star. Is this that I like the mosh pit. I like the. Y'all would have to be mosh pit in your rap, though. Yeah, yeah. I'll be, I be tripping. Yeah, it was crazy because I don't go out unless I'm going out well Rogers and plus I have those my brothers. So uh, the first time Buddy actually came to me, and he was like, hey man, I'm throwing a birthday party. I'm like, why we not doing, you know, you know me, I'm doing somewhere else. He's like, nah, my sister said we're in the injury room. I'm like, man, I don't know nobody in that city, but Kane was there. 
And then back then, that's why I'm like, you know, I don't really, I go for DJing because I'm with them boys all the time, so I'm used to music. So <clears throat> you go in the club and you rock. And I came back there and I shook your hand just to tell you, hey, bro, like, I see what you were doing. I remember. And I told you, I was like, man, I, I fooled with Doug. And I'm like, man, I just start watching you from there. So when I had did that thing and I reached out to everybody, you reached back, I was like, oh, yeah, we got to have that name in the building. So we appreciate that, man. And for the record, I didn't know. So when I've been looking at good fellas and what they be doing, they promotion, they be you in behind the scenes. You be killing it, boy. I be yanking it. Yeah, I be dancing to Instagram now. You be so hot. I'm like, yeah, he hitting it, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> I be twerking. Yeah, right. Don't twerk off Instagram, but you did it. Yeah. You brought something new out of me. So, no, that's not good. You, you just said you was a yeah, stripper. Yeah, yeah, you got, got to keep her, bro. You can't go nowhere. <laughs> you just, no, no, no. You said something new. Like, you just said that you were stripping for preschool kids. <laughs> I don't never get that job again because of you. As you you should have never got it in the first place. Now I got to share this live. See how y'all do me. You was really stripping for preschool. No, I wasn't. They give me their money. Like when they got my cheer in my class, no more I can date their daddy. Okay. Oh, I played the deal. Can I use it? We ain't got no mix coming up. <laughs> oh, I got a different question. Can I ask this one question? Okay. I'm I want to tell you do this because I've been trying to do this for a long time. I can't pull it up. So your hair color is different from your facial hair color. How is that possible? I was born like that. That's God. Oh. But I'm unlucky now. Your facial hair red, No, no. <laughs> I shaved my Thank you. Your stove is still there. When I get my bag, I'm getting like, treatment. Don't worry. She said that. She did say that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why her ultimate ball is sweet. You got such a great friend, and I don't even know you. And she gonna get the tattoo. Oh, I'm gonna get the tattoo. Big that, big that. My last question, yeah. Are you looking to get into radio? Or how important do you think it is for DJs in radio? Man, that's like a tricky question because I wanted, like that was, that was the ultimate goal for me. And then I sat down and I just thought about it. I was like, I'm in radio. That's, I got limited time to do what I really want to do for you, right? Because it's, yeah, it's DJing and you being a DJ and that's you them sign to somebody. That's a rare occasion, unless you're like in EDM or something like that. If you being a DJ, you're your own boss, but I did that radio station. You gotta clock in, you gotta punch in the numbers. And I like, I like the fact, like I have in the authority figures around me, but I like that I don't have to do what they say. If I wake up one day and decide, I don't wanna go DJ, I'm not gonna go. But it, there's, once you're in the radio, 937 and 979. There's <clears throat> no way I'm gonna be I'm gonna be able to call the station like nah bro. Today ain't it. I ain't, I ain't doing the five o'clock mix. Right. Ain't no I ain't, ain't no more McDaniels rush. It's a you had fun, so I you you fired. So then what's the ultimate goal for McDaniels now as far as DJ? The ultimate goal is I wanna be you know how people look at school out here? Yeah. Okay, I want people to look at me like that so I'm not just in Houston. I want people to see a picture of me and my show. That was that broke us. That was the, even if I ain't on, um, you know, R P D you know, but even if I don't die now, just if I just decide to stop DJing one day and I'm still on shirts and stuff, I want people I want to leave the legacy to one more, the biggest market. And I don't want the market to be touched like 30, 40 years after I'm trying to be ultimate right Make your t-shirts now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be the way you said. You know, make your t-shirts now, I'm a power. He ignored you the first time. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You ignored her the first time. She was right there in your ear. And you ignored her on purpose. And she said it again. I want you to catch it this time. Okay, like catch one too. Make them t-shirts, them legendary t-shirts. I'm a power. We're going to we gonna push it. I mean, I'm not gonna wear those. You gonna buy something? Why not? Why not? No, I'm just joking. Listen, listen, listen. We gonna discuss that after the show. We gonna try to get that job back. No, no. Okay, well, not just my face, but you know, they got a picture of screw with the headphones. It's a side view. Yeah, we gonna put you on tattoos. That's one of the things. I don't want no screw. You gonna be like, 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 you gonna be like,
like Jazzy Jeff or T Capri, like the way that they are, like yeah, like staples, everybody like, like yeah. Grandmaster Flash, like yeah. the people, like everybody knows who they are, and no matter like if you bring up DJ, like they don't know Mount Rushmore. Yeah, that's another one with the culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want people to just be like, bro, McDonald's going on, switch to the McDonald's going on, make it like this. Now McDonald's right now, not McDonald's. You should put that on the set. She is going to give you Mark. I just have to think because I have a great idea. She said yeah. 5%. <laughs> All right, where can they find your social media? Uh, Instagram. Dot <laughs> 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 Mick Daniels. Yeah, Mick Daniels. You got Dr. Dot Dr. Mick Daniels. Yeah. And I think my Twitter is. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> underscore Mick Daniels. The guy turns to underscore from Instagram. <laughs> and I'm not giving y'all my Facebook. I gotta delete some stuff off of here. That's because I know that one day I'm gonna be famous. I got like shirt off pictures in the mirror like this. Am I not spelling you? I was just about to say, I was in high school. Now wait. You're like skinny. Hey, look, you're like skinny. Go to the night school. And you'd have, you've been there before in high school. You, you had, I know you had the video. Yeah. Like, send me a picture and you get swollen and you turn to the side. Because you're not a big fella. So you turn to the side just to get, get, get the, the angle. Get the angle, get the chest out. And then, huh, and then squint your eyes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Brian's yeah. squint his eyes like he's like, 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 I put, I put doctor the whole doctor there. Is that D O C D R? Oh, I put D O C D R. Okay, there we go. That's what you said. At least we know the truth. Hey, look, the only difference between me and McDaniel's back in the game. I wasn't in the Facebook with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't really never a social media person. I was just in the DMs. Like before the DMs was, I was in the text messages with it. So I do my little 75 push up. That was all I was getting out back in. And then I send the picture. You know what I'm saying? I do the push ups first. What? I gotta make sure all the muscles. I've been a fat dude my whole life, so that never worked for me. Nah, right after you do push ups? Wait. As a fat dude, like, yeah, come on, ask serious question. Come on. As a fat dude, Jules is asking y'all to push your shirt off. No, that's not. Hey, when it's winter time, you never know. Oh, and then in the winter time. Because I know the infant in this fat nigga angle. Oh, yeah, we up here with it. Yeah. But I, yeah, 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 yeah. With no shirt off. They take side of the picture. I don't take no picture like that. No, but it's not. But that's why you get that little stick they make. I ain't getting no selfies. You don't take selfies, though, huh? Yep. Yeah. I don't take selfies. Then all he got his head, you know his head bigger than his head. I mean, with you older, then. Are you? Let it out. No, 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 no. Keep going. Yeah, see, you know, see, see. Yeah, right away, right away. Go ahead. Uh, she's going. What'd you say, son? Oh. What'd you say, son? Don't stop calling me. Uh, uh, I am older. Hey, your mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I don't never talk about your mom. Why he do this? You should talk about my mom. My mom is dead. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Put you in the house. Hey, that baby can sit down. Now you can't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that. Yeah, we ain't got no mix coming. Yeah, we got no mix Yes, I got one more. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I know because I have so many questions. I have so many questions because this is the first time we had a DJ interview. So when it comes down to somebody coming up to you at the club and ask you to play their songs, how do you feel about that? No. Nah. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. I want 150,000. <laughs> you hear me? If I come, if, you play mine. It's, it's a certain way that you go about things. For one, like, I don't like taking requests from regular people asking for regular people because mm -hmm. you. You talking to me to do me out my zone just a little bit, but after like 30 seconds of us talking, I'm really out my zone, so I gotta start over. I gotta start my memo. Two. Dog, I have uh, two emails in my life. I have a music email and I have a book email. Why did you just walk up to me and skip my page? Because I know you follow me. Because you've been going to, I've been seeing you. I didn't see you about two, three months at Indrum alone. So, I know you follow me, so why did you just walk up to me and ask me to get your song played for free and I never heard it? So like, it's not, that like people don't realize that when it comes to DJing, it's never going to be the promoter's fault if the club is weak or a song gets played that everybody knows. It's never going to be the bottle girl's fault, it's never going to be the bartender's fault, it's not going to be the MC. Automatically, it's going to be dang, it suck. Yeah. It's so how often do you respond to the music that's being sent? If it's, if it's heat, I'll take it. If it's not, I'm not replying. So do you listen? Do you listen I to listen. It? I listen. I go through my emails every day. Really? Very different. Catch my email. 
catch my ear. Not saying that it sucks or that it's not a hit. It just ain't a hit to me. Because to be honest, I like Future. I like Future. Some of their songs be ass. But some of the songs I gotta play. It's like. So I got a question. Is there, is there a, like a local it. artist or an independent artist that's caught your ear lately? Local artist. Yes. Yes. He's right. His name is Lil Spark. Lil who? Lil Spark. Spark. Spark? Like when you spark something? Okay, let's check that out, man. Oh, you gonna give us a definition of spark. We know what it is. Lil Spark. <laughs> All right, look at Can I feel smart for once? Oh, you got it. You should feel smart. It's, he's in high school, I think. He's here. No, yeah, he's in a, it's the same year. Is somebody you grab it? Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it. You shouldn't say that. He's underage right now, bro. Just use your church words, like you like, I'm gonna grab him. It's just <laughs> well, not grab him. General <laughs> <laughs> terms. I, I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. No! What? Sorry. You trick. Right. You, you mix. I'm ready. We go into a mix? <laughs> so we about to go into a mix with DJ Anthony. Thank you so much, Big Daniel, for stopping by and keeping it with us. When we come back, <laughs> it's okay. When we come I'm back, it's gonna be time for he say, she say, and we're gonna be talking deal breakers, people. What deal. is your deal breaker? With these hoes. Let's get it. Catch 22 Radio every Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. on GMTRadio.com.